So I anyway on on the last note I was talking about it, uh, what happened with Uncle Sid, me, and my brother. No, I'm sorry. If any real acid head knows, when you talk about an acid flashback or an acid story, you kind of forget everything that you're talking about. <laughs> anyway. So, this guy gave me this sugar cube, and he said, try it, you like it. Now... Me being being young, no, I don't know why I buy torches that don't fucking work. No, me being young, I took it, I ate it, I loved it. But apparently, I smoked a quarter ounce weed while I was on this acid. I uh, took multiple showers, which I don't even remember doing, and I uh, I ate. Now, I think that was a cheap ploy to save on food, but, yeah, I mean, never hit it over there, you know, saying, if you could say something, be get some food out of the deal, whatever. <laughs> I mean, who, 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 if there's anybody that's been to jail, I mean, food's a, a delicacy there. So, if you're in a bad situation, let's just say that situation, there wasn't a, a, enough for everybody, so, I understand. And, uh, I ended up so fucked up. The only thing I remember doing was actually walking into a wall, trying to go take a piss. And I found out later from, from a tarot card reader that that was supposed to open my eyes and show me that everything that was real around me wasn't as it seems. And... I think that girl ended up dying of uh, AIDS. If not, it's, she's relatively close. I won't put her name up there. I won't put um, I won't put Uncle Sid's name out there because you know why? I mean, nobody who did a transaction, eating things like that, should be penal penalized or anything plus it didn't matter he was a figure in my imagination as far as i'm concerned but anyway to finish that off and give you the actual finished story of the acid trip now i'm going to make this a three-part i'm going to give you three stories all right another one I'm walking around this party, and we're having mad fun, okay? Yeah, I'm, I got my bought a, a half sheet and a bunch of blue New York Yankees and a half sheet of cartoon acid and a dog fashion disc of just released adultery. So I was pretty heavy into it at this point. Now, I partied all day, all night, all day, all night, the next day. And, uh, that night, I ended up meeting up with this kid. I'm not gonna put his name out there. I'm not, again, you ain't gonna get me snitching. Anyway, we're all, we're all getting lit up. And, uh, it ends up, we, uh, we end up with, uh, he takes the ecstasy, but he says, no, I don't do that stuff. Now I'm thinking, you know, I know you, and I've seen, I've taken, sold you ecstasy, or acid, I've sold you, I've given it to you, you've seen you take it in front of me, why would you even say that you don't do it? And this is like rave, rave days, eh? Mother, we should have just taken it and been happy with it. No, so, you know what I did? <laughs> I licked it and stuck it to the back of his neck. And I let him enjoy his night. For 50 minutes, like, oh, like little white, he was crawling on his knees. 
Okay. Man number three. Okay, if my buddy comes over, he's on acid, blah, 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 blah. I got a lick of K, so I hit a lick, I hit a lick for K, so I had probably about quart kilo, kilo. And this is long before I ever grew up and got a conscience and, you know, stopped all that stuff while I was ahead. And, you know, you know all that stuff's done with. And years and years and years ago, I haven't done anything like that in any time. I don't even think there's any drugs like this on the streets anymore. But he was talking about how good his trip was going and this and that. So I, I would start doing sugar shots on me. I put some K in with the whiskey. And uh, the vodka, or yeah, it was uh, it was vanilla vodka, or no, cinnamon, yes, vanilla vodka, fireball, and orange juice, and it tasted like orange cream supposed to with a little bit of burn. They were delicious. Now, don't have, if you don't add K to it and you try it, there's a good drink mix for. You know, getting your party on. We 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 call it AR, we call it AR15 because once uh, once one goes, it's like you're drinking 15, 16, 17 in one. So it's like emptying a clip AR15. <laughs> So after about his fourth shot, he's crawling to the bathroom to throw up. Um, he's uh, he, he fully. Then we tell him, and he's like, "I don't care. I just need to get to the bathroom to throw up." Uh, fucking only stupid fucking peanut. <laughs> he he. I was a horrible person. I, I ended up pushing him out of the way, and he fell through, fell into the laundry basket, into a closet. And I swear to God, when he came out of that closet, he was never the same boy. Barbara.